Hello guys, welcome back to Wrench Heads. Um, so today we are going to be doing the inside of the car. We're going to be trying to get the front seats out, back seats, interior, center console, and try to pull this rug up because it's really molded in there. Horrible. Nasty. <laughs> Update on the brakes. Uh, we do have Oz doing it for us. Hubs. The hubs. The hubs. The hubs. And, um, a little delayed. Yeah, a little delay, but that should be, you know, probably next week or so. Yep. You know what I mean? But um, let's take a look on the inside. Give a free gas cap. <laughs> Thank you, previous owner. <laughs> I don't know, this, this might be the stock one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah. As you see, moldy, rusted bolts. Take these front seats out. A lot of trash in here. Basically, I'm not going to be keeping any of this interior in here. Everything has to come out of it. So, yeah. That's like some dried up leaves or whatever. Such and such. Previous owner, you know, did some drawing. Center console has to be taken out. Back seats, horrible, horrible condition. But um, yeah. So let's start with the front seats first. I think the front bolts is a 15 millimeter. All right. Let's see. A little short, probably 13. Sure. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> when I went a chicken dinner. All right. So we're gonna set the camera up and start getting to work on this. Be back. Right, guys if you notice we got this we got both driver and passenger seats out um we had uh 14 millimeter bolts on the front on the rear on the rear of the seats you have these uh we you have these uh track covers you pop these track this is on the inside up against the up against the center console side then once you get that off you have access to it so it's literally one two three four the seat rolls right out. Um, we also had back seats. Uh, the back seats were what, 12 at the yeah, bottom? 12. So we had 12 millimeter bolts down here up against the floor, up against the kickboard. Had another Fourteen. uh, 14s that were holding in the uh, the uh, hanger hooks. 
once you get those two, two off of the bottom, you just raise it up off of these rear hooks, and then the seat pulls right out. Um, I got uh, 14, 14 millimeter bolts for, or maybe 12, I think 12 millimeter bolts for the uh, backrest support bar to pull that out. Um, then for the seat belts, these were 14 millimeter. These are in there pretty good, so you're gonna have to use uh, either a uh, half inch impact gun to like spin it out quick, or you know just plan on being there for about 15, 20 minutes per per uh, bolt. <laughs> uh, but we've got the back for the most part cleared out. Yeah. Um, next thing is gonna be the center console. I'm starting to take out the uh, the uh, kick panel trim on my side. So we're gonna spin you around, have you face Joe, so you can see how this all comes out. Just as a point, we have the uh, the uh, safety restraint system module. So typically, you know, just unplugging it, you know, isn't going to do any harm, but it's always to be better to be safe than sorry. So what we're going to, need to do before unplugging this or touching anything else back here, we're going to have to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. Then we're going to um, hit the brake pedal for about five to 10 seconds to make sure all the power has drained from the system. And then we can unplug this and then can continue unplugging everything else underneath the uh, dashboard. I accept people that have like stage five cancer. <laughs> Fucking dummy. <laughs> Scammers, man. This is what happens when you call <laughs> Joe as a telemarketer. <laughs>
All right, you've seen it. Um, we got everything out. Um, pretty much everything looks pretty good in, inside the car. Um, a little bit of the trimming. Yeah, we did break one, you know, one cover, so we'll, we'll replace that. Um, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> but all the trimmings will be basically repainted, so it looks brand new. Um, the inside, if you can show them. We got a little bit of rust on the kick plate on the passenger side. Um, minor rust right here, which is going to be shaved down as much as we can. Um, you did see the dead man pedal. Um, we'll have That's to trash. That you guys are going to have to get replaced if that we can. That's gone. But basically everything else is pretty good. A nice vacuum, uh, maybe some degreaser, get a lot of the grease, some water out of there. And we should be able to, you know, and some paint, paint to cover up most of these areas that rusted out and um, start getting some of these wires out. Like the blue one, which the, uh, the stereo like wires, sub, this red wire right here, which is like they hooked up a sub to it, is all trash. Um, certain wires, we just get out, clean it up, and then basically try to get everything brand new back in here. Yeah, maybe a half roll cage in the back, but who knows? Um, anything else you want to say, Rich? No, I'm good. Um, I think we got a good amount of work done. Hopefully, um, we can get those hubs back yeah. soon and get that installed before the weather gets uh, too deep <laughs> into the coldness because today's definitely a chilly day. But um, I'm actually surprised that this is not in worse shape obviously there are points like joe said that can be cleaned up touched up yep. um but it's not terrible it's not terrible um that's basically it for this video um you basically saw how to take this whole thing apart center console rub, front seats back seats um glove box glove box lots of 12 trimming. millimeter 14 millimeter and flathead screws yeah that's pretty much it. it that was pretty much the entire interior um some some uh some uh plastic pry tools for your interior trim yep. uh we will impact guns. Yep, in, uh, impact guns driver guns we will post links to the, all the tools that we use down in the description and where we got them from it's literally a mixer a mixture of walmart Lowe's, Amazon, eBay, <laughs> Harbor Freight. Yeah. We got them from everywhere. So that's going to end this one. And as always, Rich Daily.